Yo, what is up, guys? Forever Killer here. Today we're playing Life is Strange, Gay Colors, and uh, I don't know. Let's go. Lamb turns. Wow. I'm not big on speeches. I've always believed that the role of the bartender is to shut up and listen. And by that measure, Gabe was the worst bartender I've ever known. I never issued a speeding ticket to someone on a bicycle before until he came along. He cared so much about my admissions essay. Even though he probably couldn't spell admissions <laughs> or essay. <laughs> he booked my band to play the lantern all the way from Seattle to pretty much right where I'm standing. I can recall 14 specific instances where Gabe said something that made me laugh. <laughs> the first was two years ago. So, long story short, instead of a ticket, I ended up buying him a beer. Gabe stood like three feet away, grinning like a doofus at us. I'm bored. I'm sure there were more people, but I only remember him. And then he said, I know, that's why the K is silent. <laughs> uh. Then the fifth time... He cared about everyone. He was the kind of guy you wanted to be around. He was a world-class bullshitter. He was my best friend. to say about Gabe is he came into this bar as a stranger but he left it as family <clears throat> guess that's that then what happened to Gabe was a senseless, tragic accident. And I just wish it that- It wasn't an accident. Son, now is not the time. Gabe called the mine. I gave him my sat phone to be sure he could get through. They fucked up. And now, now Gabe's dead. That was my shift. If anyone had called, it would have gone through me. Nobody called. You're lying. <laughs> In front of Gabe's own fucking sister, Alex heard the whole thing. Well, I didn't. I didn't hear Gabe make the call, but he told us he got through. Well, if Gabe said something, then I'm inclined to believe him, Mac. What are you saying? I'm not saying anything. Just, I didn't get a call. 
draw your own conclusions. All right, folks. This is an ongoing investigation. How about that... we review the sequence of events? Hmm? Well, son. When I saw you at the record store, you seemed pretty eager to find Gabe. Remember why? Hmm? Another fight with Riley, maybe? No, I don't have to take this. Just saying. Pretty wild that you come stumbling out of Gabe's apartment with your face all fucked up. Right. And just a couple hours later, you just so happened to miss the call that would have saved his life. Look, I told you there was no call to miss. And hey, maybe the call got dropped. Oh shit, I mean, it's not like it's not like Gabe was Mr. Reliable all the time. You watch your mouth, Mac. Ryan, that's enough. Now I'm just as eager as you to understand all this, son, but there was a time. Bullshit, and Dad. This little weasel's calling Gabe a liar at his own fucking wake. No, I am just telling you. Mac, I swear, if you say there was no call one more fucking time. Stop it! Stop it now! Damn. This is not the time or place. We're all here for Gabe. Okay, Ryan? Sure, I'm... I'm sorry, it's not, I'm just I'm not the one who killed him. Aren't you, though? What the fuck did you just say? Ryan, back off. Oh, hell. I'm just saying. I thought I heard that you were the one. you shut the hell up. No. No, go ahead. You got something to say, Mac? Let's fucking hear Come it. Come on, guys. Don't make me interview. All right. Fine. As long as we're tossing around accusations, way I hear it, you're the guy who cut the rope. Damn. Why not I really don't ready? remember anything. Break's oh. over. Everyone out. Hey. Fuck those guys. Yeah. Are you okay? Not really. But I... I will be. It's not your job to keep it together. Thanks. To you, um, it's messy, but do you want to come in? Sure. Oh, I knew it. This game is gay. You play guitar? Sort of. It was a gift. From Gabe. Cool. Uh. Gabe would try to pop wheelies outside the record store. To make me laugh. Never worked. Till he wiped out. That was hilarious. Gabe really wanted to do the LARP for Ethan. 
But by the end of it, he was more jazzed about it than anybody. Wish I could have seen it. We took this a year ago. We... No way. I can't. What? We actually kept it. Whatever that bottle made her think of, it really messed her up. I wonder if I could help her the same way I helped Ethan. I need to feel her sadness to figure out how to help her. Charlotte's sculpture. I wonder how she's really holding up. One of the happiest memories I have. Thanks, Gabe. Foosball champion? Why would that make her so sad? Uh. Living off these is not great, but it's better than leaving the apartment. Same. Feels like a million years since that day with Gabe. Hasn't even been a week. Hey, Shushu. Thanks for sticking around. Oh, uh, crap. Getting dressed shouldn't be so hard. And yet. I can't go upstairs. What the fuck? Thanks, Jed. What do I do? I love that Gabe was going to be part of a LARP. Would have been fun to see. find out what's really going on with Steph. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting your new foosball champion, Gabe Chen. Oh, you're the worst. Can't believe I have to stay in this stupid town. I think we both know you could have beat me if you really wanted to. So you're welcome. Bullshit. An overpowered blue meteor? Aww, <laughs> is your controller broken too? We're playing until I win. Then I'll be crashing here tonight. Damn, poor guy. What are they called again? Don't shit on my yard! They're amazing! Their guitarist has one arm. Badass. Damn. 
<laughs> Dude, give it up. I already booked a bus ticket. Wait, wait, hear me out. One more game. If I win, you have to stay. If you win, I'll cover the ticket. You just lost 50 bucks. What do I do? Steph? Sorry. Her sadness is so strong. I hope I can help. Don't shit on my yard! They're amazing! Oh, one more. Here's to your new job at the station. Oh, didn't I tell you? I'm not taking it. I move to Denver next week. You what? I think I know enough to help her now. Okay, then let's go help her. Still can't believe he's gone. Yeah. He's the whole reason I'm still. I'm sorry, Alex. Don't mind me. Want to get a few matches of Dino Racer in? Could be a nice distraction. No, thanks. I just need a minute. That didn't help. How about a quick match? Did Gabe tell you we played? Yeah. And he said he kicked your butt. <laughs> Asshole. I don't really think it's a great time. Fine. Damn. We're gonna die. First to five points? If you say so. Oh, what the f So, how often did you and Gabe play? Oh, oh, it was one of our favorite games. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. You must be pretty good then. Mm-hmm. You were in a band, right? Yeah. What'd you play? Drums. How, uh, how long did you play with them? <sighs> Too long. Gotcha. Oh! Five points! That's game! <laughs> yep. Big shocker. Oh, hey, at least you played your best. I mean, that obviously wasn't my best. No, I get it. I mean, this is a tough game. It requires skill, timing, and the will to be a champion. Oh, is that how it is? Okay, okay. Joking aside, playing this stupid game with you is exactly what I need right now. 
you're on. Got to. I'm actually trying this time, so you better focus. I am focusing. Oh, uh, no, I'm not. I don't want you to get distracted or anything. Certainly not. Why am I playing this Greatest game? Northwest band of all time, go. <laughs> Are you trying to distract me? Oh, of course not. Slater Kinney, if you were wondering. <laughs> time <laughs> okay whoa, wait let's get serious one more game winner takes title of ultimate foosball champion mm, i don't know oh, come on you know gabe would be all about his playing like this well then it's settled <laughs> this is it for all the marbles so many marbles Definitely the kind of game you want to focus on, no matter oh what my happens. God. Oh my God! Hey, so are you into girls or what? Are you in my game? No. <laughs> yeah, girls are pretty rad, right? Especially girls that play foosball and host radio stations and wear beanies like it's a religion. <laughs> Sounds like a Good winning team. combo. Who's what? What? Fuck. <laughs> oh, fucking finally! <laughs> The house of Chen crumbles at last. <laughs> Good game. Thank you. You're a much better loser than Gabe. That's no fun. Sorry to spoil the victory. So, what are you gonna do now? What do you mean? That shit with Mac. He's clearly lying, right? I'm not sure what Mac's deal is. His story doesn't add up. Yeah. I do know that I need to find out exactly what happened that night. For myself and for Gabe. I've got your back. No matter what. Thank you. That means a lot. I should head back to work. Cool.
Bye. Bye. I know Gabe made that call, but did Mac really let the blast go off just to get back at him? Hey, Shushu. Thanks for sticking around. Uh... Fuck. I just got him back. How can he be gone? Hmm. Sorry, guys. I'm just thinking. I just don't know what to say. Feels like a million years since that day with Gabe. The kind of person who got that worked up over a college essay could be capable of almost anything. My dog just walked in my <gasps> Rex! My dog Rex! Oh my god! He just walked in my room for no reason. So long, depression food. Rex. What's next? What do I do? Okay, fine. to start okay that did make me feel a little better At least I got to have a few good moments. Yeah, clean that up a bit. See? I can be a person. Clean home, clean mind. Right, Dr. Lin? Eh, fuck it. Up, down, left, right, jump. Okay. Oh! Oh 
Oh my god! God damn. <laughs> but you jumped in. this game. What the hell? The answer, my friend is blowing in the wind. I'll toss those soon. I swear. No birds today. This thing's been up here a while. Isn't that Steph's old band? I bet Gabe could even make golf fun. This was going to be the one, finally. Despite all the disappointments, I really let myself believe. I believed you, completely. I let myself hope, really hope, for the first time in years. Even after I freaked out in front of you and hit you, you didn't push me away. You sat right there and told me that I wasn't broken, that I was special, and I belonged. Then you died, and I don't know what to believe now, except you're gone again, and I'm still here. Alone.
can't do shit. Oh, hey, kid, you don't have to do that. Too late. I wanted to apologize for all of us. We're all grieving, but that's no excuse. It was your brother's wake, and you both deserve better than listening to a bunch of fools squabble. I appreciate it. That was pretty rough. Although it's hard to imagine a good version of your dead brother's wake. No, there's no good version. Just all of us trying to get through it together the best we can. It wasn't the first wake held in this old building. I doubt it'll be the last. Anyway, if there's anything I can do, just let me know. I need to talk to Mac. I know he's lying. I just don't know why. Any idea where I can find him? Well, he helps out Eleanor at the flower shop. That'd be the place to start. Thanks. I feel like I should warn you, though. You might not get the kind of closure you're looking for. If you get any at all. Just don't pin all your hopes on Mac Loudon. Thanks for looking out for me, but what else am I supposed to do? I wish I had an answer for you. But if you get a chance before you go all dirty, Harry, swing by the dispensary. Charlotte wants to see you. And one more thing. I've been meaning to give you this for the last few days, but I didn't want to disturb you up there. It'll get you through that door and the one upstairs. This is your home now, for as long as you'd like. What about rent? I don't want to be a freeloader. Don't worry about that for right now. We'll work out a way for you to earn your keep when the time comes. Thank you. Give him hell. <laughs> uh, I... I have no idea what to even say to him.
No one could blame me for wanting to drink all my sorrows away. Hopefully, things around here can settle down again. Yeah, that'd be good. RM and TB. I wonder who they were. Jed definitely has a decorating style. I'd call it steakhouse chic. They look happy together. Not a day goes by that I don't miss her. But these last few, they've been hard. I can imagine. I think Gabe had more fun at his job than anyone. <gasps> Run check! <laughs> Who pays for their alcohol with a check? Oh, wait. Gabe? Okay, Jed said I might find Mac in the flower shop, but I have time to swing by the dispensary if I want. On one hand, there's the open road and the freedom to run away from my problems. On the other, helmet hair. I wonder how many fish Ducky's caught in this thing. Do I even want to stay here without Gabe? In this state I've never been to before. This town I've been in for less than a week. Not that I know where else I'd even go. Back to the nothing waiting for me in Portland. Fuck. I have no idea what comes next. But I'm not leaving here without answers about Gabe. At least I know that. I wonder if I am dreaming. Everything feels so strange now. Under this old town sky. I wonder if there's still meaning. All the things I'm feeling. Should I? I like this song. Alright. 
Dispensary, dispensary. Where's the fucking map? Okay. This is probably the most haven thing I've seen yet. Hey, Pike. Hey! Um, how you holding up? It said, every time it hits, uh, it's in limp mode. Every time it hits 25 I'm okay. RPMs, it goes rap, 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 Okay, rap, rap, is rap, rap, good. I think. Hey, I want you to know I meant what I said back there. Gabe was something else. He could bring a smile to my face even on the worst days. Yeah, that's what everyone's been saying. And, uh, when you're ready, I still need to get your statement for the investigation. I think I'll be ready soon. Yeah. Yeah. No rush. Nothing says festive, like three, exclamation. Might be a good time to check out the dispensary. Jed said Charlotte wants to talk to me. Oh. Oh, sorry. We met briefly. You're Gabe Chen's sister, right? Alex, yeah. I didn't know him well, but I could tell he had a big heart. I'm so sorry for your loss. Charlotte? Alex. Hey. Jed said you wanted to see me. I just wanted to see how you were doing. I'm okay. Keeping my chin up. Sometimes that's all you can do. How about you? I can't even imagine what you're going through. Honestly, I'm really trying to keep it together for Ethan. He's hurting. I hear he's been having a rough time. He practically just lost a father. But he's shutting me out. He's never done that before. Not when it mattered. Stay strong. You'll get through the hard parts. Both of you. Easier said than done, huh? Yeah. No shit. I can't get over the feeling that the one person who could help me deal with the aftermath of Gabe's death... ...is Gabe. What is this? An affidavit. From Typhon. If I sign, I'm agreeing not to press charges. In exchange for a payment. A big one. How big are we talking? 
It's send Ethan to college big. Shit. Are you gonna sign it? I don't know. I'm trying to put Ethan first, but... What would you do? Do you think it would be a betrayal of Gabe? Oh You have to put Ethan first. If the money helps, I think you should take it. Thanks, Alex. That means the world. That affidavit feels scummy, but Ethan should come first. I really appreciate you stopping by. Feel free to take a look around if you want. Yeah, okay. Nah, bitch, I'm leaving. Still need to check the flower shop for Mac. It's fine. I love being on hold. Eleanor? Oh! <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> no need to apologize. How are you, dear? Oh. I'm, um... I'm okay, I guess. Taking it one moment at a time. It's the best way to be. Uh, is Mac here? Oh, he was helping me not too long ago. I think he just left. Can't have gotten too far. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Thanks. Now, what was I? Hmm. She looks terrified. I can't leave her like this. Okay. Okay. Time to figure out why she's afraid. All my memories, All my memories are, fading. are fading. 
I feel, I feel broken. broken. Thank you, dear. I'll get started on it right away. Just come by with the check whenever you're free. If Riley, if Riley finds, finds out, out, she can't, she can't find, out. find out. How does she hide all of this? If they know if they about know my about condition, my they'll make me close this place. said I had more time, but everything is becoming so out of order. Holy shit. Holy crap. It's not just that she forgot what she was doing. She's afraid she's forgetting everything. Forget what you were working on? <laughs> you could say I'm having a bit of a senior moment. <laughs> well, maybe I can help. Seems like you have a lot going on today. I could help you retrace your steps. Oh, I don't want to keep you. <laughs> hey. I... I want to help. Okay, what would Eleanor have done first? You were over here when I came in. Maybe you were counting the drawer. I would have done that last night. Did you trim these flowers today? Hey, I'm not going anywhere. Did you maybe call someone? Say for sure. Did anything happen with Riley? I... I don't know. Ginger, cashier, flower... Uh, does she do this? 
You must have flipped the sign to open. I always flip it first thing when I come in. And then I open my mail. Something must have distracted me. Better. We can do this. Could a phone call have distracted you? Yes. I got a call first thing in the morning. But I can't think who it was. Maybe we can find something to remind you. Hmm. Could it have been Riley who called? I think that's right. She called to tell me about a new order. Oh, goodness. What was the order for? Rush order. This must be what Riley came in for. I think that order might have been for these lilies. Of course. Riley helped me pick them out before she left. Now we just have to figure out who ordered them. The check for the lilies would be in here, right? That could tell us who bought them. Should. Mr. Jedediah Lucan, huh? Okay. Looks like the lilies are for Jed. That's right. Riley dropped off an order for Jed. I knew you'd figure it out. I couldn't have done it without you. Seriously, Alex, you're a godsend. Jed must be hosting some event. I wonder why he wants lilies, though. They're traditionally for funerals. God. She doesn't remember. They were... They were for Gabe's wake. Gabe's wake? Sorry. Hey, it's, um... Excuse me. <laughs> okay, that sucked. But at least I told her the truth. Okay. Riley is officially a badass. I've definitely lived in uglier places. She's really hurting, but I didn't want to lie to her. That must have been a different time.
I hope it's good news. Oh god, they're multiplying. Okay, this shirt rules. Is it Riley's? Eleanor said Mac is nearby. I don't see him here. Maybe at the bridge? me to pop by the record store if I had time. Is there a bridge? Oh, right there. How's your progress in Moondrop Ranch? Alex, look, it's not a good time. You owe me an explanation about what happened to Gabe. I'm really sorry he died. And I appreciate that you... You didn't out me to Riley the other night, but I can't talk to you. I get it. He died on your shift, and you're freaked, but you have to come clean. Please. There's nothing I can tell you. Mac, come on. He was my big brother. I can't. Something definitely has him scared. Maybe if I could tap into his fear, I could get to the truth. I just need to find something I could use to push him over the edge. Time to get the truth. Girl, are you running away from me, bitch? Oh no, you're not here. Okay, that sucked, but at least I told her the truth. I hope it's good news. Oh, I forgot I can use this power.
I'm so retarded. I just need to find something I could use to push him over the edge. We're done here. She said something she can use. Push him over the edge. Like, physically push him? We're done here. I am so confused. so bad for her getting sick of people feeling bad for me Steph asked me to pop by the record store if I had time Steph asked me to swing by. She's got to be around here somewhere. we've been through together it's hard to beat breakup music but maybe i can find something around here to cheer him up hey i'm glad you stopped by i've only got a sec but have you talked to ethan at all he's taking it really hard but what you did for me this morning got me thinking what if Ethan needs something like that, too? Something fun and distracting. Something like a LARP. Like the one you and Gabe were gonna take him to? Yeah, but designed just for him and Thanor. He'll love that. Yeah, I'm glad you think so. I need your help, though. I want it to be as good as it can be. Ethan gave you one of his comics, right? So? What do you think? Who would the famous monster slayer have the most fun defeating? Uh. Storm Rider looks like a worthy opponent. He gets my vote. <laughs> All right, then. Oh, I, I got to get back in there. There's some stuff in my comp book. It'd be cool if you could check it out. Help me make some calls. I'll see what I can do. Hmm. Hey, uh, 
Haven listeners, that was Phone Tap with their new single, Elephant in the Room. We've got a sweet block of indie rock coming down. It's sweet. She's planning a whole LARP for Ethan. The Spring Festival is just around the corner, sponsored by Typhon Mining Company. The mission is free this year, so bring your friends, bring your family. Hell, bring your ex. I'm sure it'll be different this time. I'm so sleepy. Maybe I'll get to hear her play sometime. Helpful. I just need to find something I could use to push him over the edge. Sorry about today. Why should one accident close all the trails? What a wasted vacation. Yes, we're all suffering here. And these overnight shifts really take it out of me. Yeah. Talk about the accident? How would I know that? Fuck, now I'm on Diane's shit list. Thanks, Diane. Poor kid. Came all the way out here for her brother. And now... And now, I've got to figure out the truth. Whenever you're ready for that interview, give me a call. Yep, will do. Not sure when the words Gabe Chen and Wake... Damn. I don't know what to do. I just need to find something I could use to push him over the edge. Oh, I gotta talk to the girl. His girlfriend, now I remember. 
The park looks fun to explore. There. Hell yeah. Hey, Riley. Alex. Hey. You and Eleanor seem close. She's taken care of me ever since I was little. I never really knew my mom, but she's always been there for me. What does she think about you going away to school? She's thrilled. <laughs> I think she just wants me to end up happy. That's really sweet. She's the most selfless person I know. I know having you work with her in the shop has meant the world. Yeah. To both of us. I know you and Gabe were close. How are you doing? I miss him. So much. He was like an older brother to me. I'm glad he had you. Thank you, Alex. Really? That fight Mac had with Gabe over your secret meetings. They were about you applying to college, right? Yeah. Ever since the first time Mac lost his shit in front of him, Gabe and Charlotte had tried to get me to end things with him. And after all this, I can see that they were right. Do you think he could have ignored Gabe's call? I mean, do you think he's capable of that? I don't want to believe that, but... Sorry, I'm really not ready to talk about it. Are you sure? Sometimes talking about it can help you sort it all out. I'm just not there yet. I gotta run. There's some stuff I need to do. Okay. I don't want to push Riley. But I need to know more about Mac. How do I get her to open up? Oh, shit. Okay, hold on. I think I got a plan. acting like this acting like what maybe I can get her to tell me do you want to talk about Mac yeah I get it it's just if he didn't do anything wrong why is he acting like he has something to hide? He asked me to leave Haven with him. 
What? Right after the wake. He wouldn't tell me why. But he just looked so guilty. I told him I had to think about it, but... Alex, I... I'm scared he did something horrible. Riley, thank you for telling me. You deserve the truth. I gotta run. There's some stuff I need to do. Okay. We'll talk soon? Yeah. Whenever you want. Mac trying to skip town is sketchy as shit. I bet I could use that to stoke his fear. Wait, what? Yikes. <laughs> okay, then. I should make sure there's nothing else I want to do before I confront Mac. What Riley told me might do it, but I should make sure there isn't anything I still want to do around town first. Okay, let's do this. I got Riley to tell me about your plans to leave town. That's not something innocent people do. God, it's not... I didn't... Do anything. <gasps> Fuck off! <gasps> Leave me alone. Deal with Mac when I get to him. For now, I need to learn everything I can. Typhon's always watching. They run this whole town. I saw Mac run down that alley. Mac feels like everyone's staring at him. Everyone thinks I killed him. They all hate me. It's not fair. I didn't do anything wrong. It should have been you instead. Alex? Damn. No! What the hell? There are people out there! No, I told you to call it off! I saw the way they looked at me at the wake. They all think I let him die. I know why you're lying. Typhon's forcing you to deny the call. What the fuck? Oh 
I know you tried to stop it. They fucked up, not you. Stop lying for them! You don't get it. This wasn't some accident. I told them you were down there, and they detonated anyway. On purpose? Why? I don't know. I swear. And then I get a message telling me to deny there was ever a call. You gotta believe me. Gabe and I, we didn't get along, but I, I didn't want him dead. And now, now Typhon's watching me. My girlfriend, she, she thinks I'm a murderer? My neighbors all hate me? I mean, what, what, what the fuck am I supposed to do? I think I can calm him down, but does he deserve it? You gotta calm down, okay? Dude, stay with me. I know what it's like to be doubted. To have everyone think the worst of you. But the truth will come out. I'll make sure of it. But Typhon... If Typhon comes after you, they're gonna have to get through me too, okay? a little better. <laughs> yeah, well, you learn a thing or two hanging out with shrinks your whole life. <laughs> Hey. Yeah, it's... Can we talk? Where are you? Okay. You were right. About Typhon, about Mac. Alex. Mac got the call. How do you know that? He got the call and he lied about it. Doesn't matter. Someone is putting pressure on him to keep quiet. Someone from the mine and- It doesn't matter. I keep- Coming here and playing it back. But it always ends the same. Ryan. He's dead. He's really dead, Alex.
It was my fault. My job is to keep people safe. And I failed. Ryan. I owe you my life. She's wrong. I let her cross that log. I put Gabe in harm's way. I'm not a hero. I'm a coward. Worse than worthless. I know what it's like to feel worthless and helpless, but we saved Ethan. And you saved me. It doesn't matter. Gabe's dead because of me. Gabe, I'm so sorry. Gabe loved you, Ryan. He would forgive you. You know that. You're not alone. gorilla suit? <laughs> Does he also jump off of the cliff and into the pool? No, no. He chases a guy in a banana suit. <laughs> that guy jumps off the cliff and into the pool. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. This is a Mexican restaurant? Eh, nominally. <laughs> <laughs> the food is, uh, well, terrible. But it's Gabe's favorite place. <laughs> I tell you, he's the oldest 12-year-old I know. Can I ask you something? Of course. You came up here to tell me that I was right about Mac. About him getting the call. How did you know? There's something you should know about me. And it's gonna be easier to show you than to explain it. This is gonna seem sort of weird at first, then really weird. Do you trust me? Okay. Think of something that just scares the shit out of you. Really focus until you feel it. Mac, Typhon, all of it. You're afraid you won't know how to handle it without Gabe. Never knew anyone so good at getting into and out of trouble. <laughs> oh, man, this one time. <laughs> Oh, 
whatever it is you're thinking about right now, don't stop, okay? Keep going. Okay. <laughs> what emotion is this? How deep you think? <laughs> Deeper than that. The Royal Canadian Mounted Police can spot a goose grave at a hundred paces. The Mounties? <laughs> oh, come on, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. How long were you gonna let me dig? <laughs> I wasn't gonna stop you. That's a lot of blood, huh? Gabe, <laughs> this is serious. Killing a Canadian goose is a violation of international law. Shut up. It is not. They're Canadian geese, Gabe. Property of the crown. The... the crown of... Property of <laughs> the crown, Gabe. What do we do? <laughs> okay. Gabe, Goose. I see it. It'll move. It's not moving. It'll move. Gabe! <laughs> so... That scared me. Rex scared me. <laughs> Did you finish burying the goose or not? <laughs> okay, also, property of the crown. <laughs> really? <laughs> well... They are technically protected under the Migratory Bird Treaty Act. <laughs> <laughs> How? There's just something wrong with the way I process other people's emotions. I see these auras, I guess. And sometimes, if somebody's feeling something big, it sort of infects me. And I start feeling it too. And that's what you just did with... with me? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with you. You're a literal wizard. It's... it's only ever been the bad emotions before. But... that... <laughs> that was... pure joy. Who else knows? Gabe did. But now I guess just you.
And that's how I know Max terrified of Typhon. He reported Gabe's call, and they ignored it. Now they're putting pressure on him to tow the line. Okay, but why? I don't know yet. Someone made the decision to let the blast go off. Seems like finding out who would be a good start. So you're going after Typhon? You'll need help. You don't have to. You're stuck with me now. You're welcome, I guess. Thanks. Thank you. No. Thank you. This one's for you, Gabe. I miss you. speak this morning. I couldn't. Hearing everyone talk about him, about the life he had here with all of you, I lost the chance to have that. But even though I only had one day with him, he changed my life. said, I didn't know if I belonged here. He told me that home isn't something you find. It's something you build.
Wow, that, that was a... Damn. I will end the video right here, guys, for part three. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is going to be a very long one, for sure. Leave a like, subscribe, and yeah, hope you guys enjoy.